Hello everyone, today we're doing a tutorial for basics of smoking in Valorant, of course. So this is something that everyone should know when you try to play smokes. Or even when you not try to play smokes, but you still should know it. Smokes you can divide in three different categories. Attacking smokes, defending smokes, one ways, and actually the fourth would be retake smokes. We're going to start with the attacking smokes. So whenever you want to do an attack smoke and you know that there's an entrance where the defenders can, you know, attack from and try to retake your site, you try to extend the entrance. Uh, sorry, not extend, but basically fog the entrance so they have to peek with maximum disadvantage. Let's say when someone is picking from here, he has a full vision of hookah, he has a, so he can like clear different angles. But if you smoke it this way, that the smoke is on the exact doorway then he cannot check anything unless he's ultimately peeking already on the entire side which exposes him to more angles so when you smoke an attack uh when you smoke on attack you never want to do something like this because this basically allows him to creep on site and have a better understanding of what's happening on the site because he can just be already here when he normally would have been exposed. The same when it comes to attacking an example on hookah. If you're attacking hookah, let's say we're attacking here, and you're not certain of where pe people are, and you want to smoke it so you can go on the site, you apply the same logic, and you smoke it deep on the site. This way. So if you attack hookah, you clear it, and you can jump on site without actually no anyone knowing about you. So this way, when you attack on site, you can clear more angles. And the opponents will never know if they should watch like someone here, someone here, someone here. So they have more angles to check. You can also use this smoke to like pop flashes because you're closer to the site and you can attack faster because of that. Now when it comes to defending, uh, defending smokes, basically the also the same logic so when someone is trying to attack you from garden you're gonna try to basically do the same stuff that you tried to do on attack here with the doorway so when you pop the smoke people have to fully expose themselves to all angles when trying to attack the site this way if you want to attack the site from the same angle you want to over to overextend the entrance so you have more angles that you can um, basically exit to. So this way, you cannot be checked by anyone on site. You go into the smoke, and you can do an example this stuff. So you're not exposed to more angles on the site. When it comes to one ways, this is a good example of a very popular one way on A short. When you do on one way, you rather have an elevation. Um, elevation advantage over your opponent because if you're on a lower ground like here you're gonna see the the feet of your opponent faster than they will see you right so basically that's the only advantage that you want to have from a from a one-way smoke because otherwise it's gonna be exactly the same for both of you whoops oh, oh here we go so when you do a one-way but you peek from here you basically expose the same way this guy is here. So you, you have no advantage. But if you pick, pick from an elevation that is lower than yours, you have an advantage of your opponent. Now, if you want to, if you want to counter a one-way, you basically extend that one-way with your own smoke. Let's say an Omen or a Brimstone or a Astra, Viper, do a one-way here. And you want to counter that as an attacker. You see the one-way? You can't, like, basically peek for it. So you put a, your own smoke to extend this smoke. So basically, they cannot see because of your own smoke, right? And you can go further to the, to the side with less angles to check. Those are, like, fundamentals of understanding of how to smoke. Ooh. The same applies here, right? If you want to... If you want to attack on showers, um, sorry, if you want to attack from showers, 
you basically overextend the entrance. Think of it as a tunnel extension. You can go here. Well, maybe this is actually a better smoke because you can see from here. So it should be a little bit like this. So you can enter the smoke without telling anyone that you're doing this. And you can actually just go out and not be shot from lamps. You can only, you, you only have to like check two angles like this, right? You have the advantage of a surprise attack. And when you're defending, let's say I'm standing here and I want to smoke... I want to smoke uh, showers. There are two smokes you can do. One, closing the doorway. And second one, making your own doorway here. This is the standard smoke, right? They have to basically exit out of the smoke to be exposed to all angles. So they're literally at a, at a huge disadvantage because they cannot clear their own angles as they want. And the second one here allows you to hold this angle without anyone being worried for this angle. So if they want to clear it from here, they peek into multiple angles as well. So basically there's like a huge curtain here that doesn't allow them to clear angles like this one and this one. So they go into the unknown. I guess this is all when it comes to fundamentals of smokes. Hope you guys learned something from this and see you on the server.